Welcome to Fixing the Money Thing. I'm Gary Cassie. And I'm Drenda Cassie. We've been talking all month about getting out of debt and living free. Today, yeah. Gary continues his discussion, emphasizing that anyone can be debt free. Yes, right. I said anyone. Right. And Gary says that anyone can be debt free in five to seven years, including their home mortgage. The amazing thing is that a large majority yeah. of people can do it without changing their current income. That's amazing. Find that hard to believe? Yeah. Let's talk about it here today on Fixing the Money Thing. I'm Gary Cassie, and for nine years, we lived in a chaotic, stress-filled, visionless life. I cried out to God. He said, I want my people free. America's financial coach, Gary Cassie, shares the kingdom principles that changed his life, defeated his debt, and set him free. You'll never find your destiny until you fix the money thing. Gary Cassie says that the average family can be debt-free, including their mortgage, in less than seven years without changing their current income. Sound impossible? Find out how today on a special edition of Fixing the Money Thing. Do you think it's possible to get out of debt, including your mortgage, on your current income? No. No. Because <laughs> I think debt is a, is a uh, monkey on your back. Well, Gary, it's obvious that most people have accepted debt as a way of life. Yep. They're just going to live in debt their whole life, you know, and die. <laughs> so, That's how it is. People, yeah. we talk to all the time. It's like I have a 30-year mortgage, and it's going to, you know, take 30 years to pay it off. And a lot of times people keep upgrading their home and just keep the debts. Keep yeah, people up. just keep the debt. You know, Drinda, we've been in uh, business for a long time helping people get out of debt, and it's epidemic in America. In fact, this yes. stat is amazing. According to the Columbus Dispatch, so it's our hometown paper, the article said that 23% of the Americans can't even pay their minimum credit card payment each month. Oh, that's a quarter. That's a quarter of the population. Wow. And then the other, another 49% cannot pay last month's purchases off. Oh, that's 50. So we're writing so, a quarter and then half of them. So wow. that means that we're escalating our debt load mm. pretty quick as a population. Yes. And so people are, are hopeless. The Bible says, according to Proverbs chapter 22, verse number 7, that the rich rule over the poor and the borrower becomes a slave to the lender. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't think slavery is fun. And, you know, slaves have no choice. And I remember the Lord called us back, oh, when he spoke to us about our business and going into the ministry, he made a very clear point that he does not like his people living in that kind of bondage mm -hmm. and that he wants them free. Yes. I don't know, but I think it's time for the slavery to stop. I totally agree. So, You've been declaring this message for I 20 have. years, and we've seen financial calamities happen in our nation yes. and across the yeah. world. Those things aren't going to stop, so people no. need to get their own personal house in order. Yeah. There's two sides to debt. Another, uh, debt's kind of a spiritual issue. Uh, as well as a natural issue. And so get your pencil and paper out through this show uh, because we're going to talk about some things. But the first thing we need to understand is that God's kingdom, His laws, have answers in it regarding finances. Yes. We're not going to focus so much on those today in this program. Uh, we're going to aim at more the natural side because you need both the spiritual and the natural. We have a lot of material at our website on the spiritual laws, and you need both. You have to have the kingdom to get out of debt. But you need also to understand how this thing works in the natural. So I have here a stack of credit card offers <laughs> that come in the mail. You might have some of these as well. They come every day to our mailbox. And, you know, you'll see several in this stack that are the same one, same bank. And they keep sending them. Week after week. Week after week, <laughs> month after month. And you, you wonder, why would they send this? I did not respond to it last week. Why would they send it again and waste the money what do you think the answer is? They're waiting on you to need their <laughs> offer. <laughs> They're patiently a bad waiting. Week or a week that you decide you want a vacation or there's something you want to buy. Right. You know, That's it's, right. They're fishing. Yes, they are. And it's all aimed at getting your money. So why do they send these out? Well, if you'll get a piece of paper, write this down. You're going to amaze your friends or you can Facebook these stats because no one knows this or they wouldn't be doing or playing the game. So let's take a look at this. First off, to get out of debt, you must realize that someone wants you in debt. That's mm -hmm. the first thing to understand. And so I have some stats here. I'm going to go through real quick with, with us. 
Six billion credit card offers are mailed out a year in the U.S. Six billion are mailed wow. out. So that's a lot. Wow. And basically, if you have a credit card to make the minimum payment, it's going to take you 22 years to pay that off. Mm. You know, by then, that, that uh, new sports jacket's pretty old. <laughs> right, absolutely. You know, people absolutely. buy Every, all this stuff. Yeah, you think you're going to get a sale, a deal. Right. And really, when you pay the interest on it, it was not a deal at all. That's right. Use a credit card. In, in fact, most uh, department stores make more money off their department store card than off retail. I mean, have you ever thought, why do department stores have their own department store card. I mean, everyone already has right. a visa. And they'll even offer you 15% off today's purchase if you'll use their store credit That's card. That's right. They want something. Right. What right. do they want? Let's find out. All right, let's assume that you have $1,000. So write that on a piece of paper. $1,000. That's it. That's all you have. And you're 20 years of age, and you're going to deposit the money and leave it to age 70. That's 50 years. Okay, you got that in your mind? $1, 50 years, just one time, $1,000 at 5% would grow to $12,000, and, you know, $12,000. But what about 18%? Do you think there's any credit cards that charge 18%? Absolutely, most all of them are more. Okay, that same $1,000, just one time, age 20, leave it alone, to age 70, grows to $6 million. Whoa. That's called compound interest. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Wow. They, they say compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world, you know, because how it works. So we're talking millions of dollars, and well, it gets worse. What about a department store card? They're not 18%, are they? 24, 28. 20, 21, 22, 24. Right. So assuming a 24% department store card, uh, that same $1,000, Drenda, grows to $97 million. Whoa. Whoa. So now when you're at the cash million? register and they go, is this cash or charge? You know, would you like to have 15% off today's purchase? What's the motivation behind that? They're looking for that 21% interest. Yeah, it's not, it's not like, hey, you know, we're, we're your buddy. We're going to, you know, wow. just help you, and we're going to help you get the stuff wow. you need. It's like they're thinking, they're knowing what's behind the scenes, millions. Huge. Now, are there other lenders that charge more than 24%? Sure, sure finance companies. And we know from personal experience. <laughs> yes. We had several of those loans back in the day when we were the poster kids. Yes, for the first not, years of our marriage. Not what to do with money. And you right? think, wow, they're giving me money <laughs> to spend. I can buy something nice. Yeah, they and approved the loan. Awesome. Let's yeah. rejoice. Let's praise God for 28 that. 28% that. interest. 28% uh, interest. Well, that same $1,000 <laughs> one time, one time, get that, write that, one time, 1000 for 50 years. Just leave it to your 70 if you could find a place to invest at 28, which apparently they did. Right, in us. <laughs> yeah, in us. That $1,000 grows to $1,048,000,000. No, no. Are you sure? A billion dollars. So you're telling me that most yes. people, the money that goes through their hands in their lifetime would equal a billion dollars, at least millions of dollars, if they weren't giving it away to creditors. We'll, we'll talk about that. Now, you, yeah. you would not find a place to invest at 28%. I mean, there's yeah. obviously business ventures and things. You, you know, there, there's a risk involved that kind of rate. But that's just 1,000. Mm. Okay, so these companies, how many thousands, 1,000s do they have? I mean, over 50 years, you're talking about a billion dollars. Someone knows something you don't know. And that's why we're here today telling you the power of money is astonishing how it grows. Now, let's break it down what you said. i got to hurry along here. Uh, you've heard this said many times, for just the price of a cup of coffee a day. You ever heard that on advertisements? They're, they're trying to infer this little $5 a month fee, you know, is no big deal. Just sign up for this little program. It's $5 a month. People right. go, eh, no, it's 5 bucks. Right. Okay, let's take the same, same period of time. 50 years, $5 a month, all right? So for $5 a month for 50 years at 18%, two and a half million. Wow. <laughs> $5 becomes two and a half million. At, wow. Yeah. Now let's take $1, okay? $1 a month, just $1 a month at 18% for that same 50-year period of time, 505000 Wow. How many people throw away money? Just, yes. Okay, how about if you found a place like the finance company rate, 28%, $1 a month at 28% grows over that same age 20 to age 70 period of time to $44 million. 
So if one you a dollar today, dollar 50 years month. from now, it's going to be that much. If you wow. could find 28%. Right. But they obviously, they have devised yes. a system to find a place to invest one dollar at 28%. Okay, what are they playing on? How is it that we as Americans will give them our thousand, give them our five dollars? Uh, and we, people we need treat money. it like it's no big deal. It's just five dollars. Well, obviously, only people that pay twenty eight percent have bad credit. But we do it oftentimes too because they they entice us to want something that well, we don't we don't want to wait for. Yes, you you hit it on the nail. <laughs> Go into any retail store. Ninety days, same as cash. Is a finance company, not a bank, a finance company of twenty four to twenty eight percent rate. If you don't pay it off in ninety days, I always say. What kind of deception is occurring in your brain to think that you can pay for it in 90 days when you can't pay for it today? today yeah. They still make it. Wait 90 days, pay cash for it, and forget it. You know, don't right. don't fall into the trap. I always like what you used to say to me. They still make them. They still because make it. Because in that moment when you impulsively want to buy this thing, yeah. you think, oh, no, I've got to have it. It's a discount. Or I get 15% off today. And if you don't have the cash right. today, like you said, it's in 90 days, you're not going to have it probably That's right. because of that mindset. Right. It, that yes, mindset yes. is going to keep you constantly thinking that yeah. way. Yeah, so what we're trying to say to you today is this, that you can see a very small fragment of money can produce a very large result. Now, here on Fixing the Money thing, what we're saying, let's turn that in reverse. If you can find small fragments of money that seemingly are meaningless, which they're not, as now you see, we're going to help you find those. We're going to reverse that process. By reversing that process is how we find a way to get people out of debt in five to seven years, including their mortgage. Wow, that's great. We come great. back. We're going to talk more about that. Don't go anywhere. Get your paper out. It's fun to find money. We'll talk about it when we come back. So uh, Gary Cassie fixing the money thing just stood out. It was different. I'm an entrepreneurial-minded person anyway, so it spoke to me. He was preaching a message on something to the effect of you can't catch halibut in a bathtub, you have to go to Alaska. And that spoke to me that to get where I want to go financially and everything else, I have to make a move. My biggest thing was, okay, you have this business, it's okay, I have my salary, you know, it's okay. So every, everything is just going along, paycheck to paycheck. I began to question, not God, but what I was doing. I knew I was doing something wrong, so I told my husband, I said, I'm not doing anything else until I figure out this money thing. Why isn't this working? And um, he answered my prayer with um, that through that morning through uh, Pastor Gary about the power of allegiance. And he talked about the kingdom of God being a government with laws. And it just gripped me. And, and right then and there before it was, when you know when they have the infomercial, we're offering this book and that book. I ordered every single book that was available, every workbook. I was in book. a state and of like, shock. What are you doing? I think I dropped the remote. Like, what? She was like, what are you doing? I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm ordering the books. The entire series. I'm the like, entire what? series that was available. <laughs> and um, I read it, and then it was so good, I yes. wept. I was overcome with emotion in that I've never heard of this taught like this, understanding how we got here and, and, and God's plan of escape for us. The initial plan was to continue a business idea that I had several years ago, which was an apparel company. It's an apparel business. Uh, I primarily offering letterman jackets to students. Fast forwarding a little bit more, um, it just didn't work. He was like, I'm tired of this. I don't want to do it anymore. And I, I was like, OK, well, if you don't want to do it anymore, I, I understand. Um, but he was like, well, we have to do this one last thing because we told the principal we had decided to give a, a jacket to a, a student that, you know, couldn't afford one. Put him in contact with the athletic director. Now, this is a brand new athletic director. Mm -hmm. So they spent about <laughs> an hour and a half on the phone. An hour, 45 minutes later, we're yeah. the primary suppliers. And this is less than, this is about a month ago. So yeah, we're the primary suppliers, not just for looks like uniforms, but now for equipment, because I got accounts for companies that I never even sold for. So I got accounts before where we can do football equipment, footballs, baseballs, all kinds of stuff, not just uniforms. And so for the last three weeks, even now, it's been nonstop orders, nonstop orders. And I'm like, are you kidding me? And they, they, because of COVID, they wouldn't uh, 
have anybody set up and have booths at the last track meet. We're one of the only three they let set up. Even on their actual new billboard scoreboard they're putting up, they want our name on the, on the scoreboard for the whole school. You're either in God's system or you're not. That's a hard word. And if you don't know about the kingdom, you need to reevaluate everything that you think you know about God. This is effective. This is effective. I'm to the point in life where I'm not going to entertain any time with anything ineffective. Because the agreement, that was yes. one thing that taught me was the we agreement was everything exploded. I've been watching, like I told you, I've been watching for years, but everything exploded when, you know, she came on board. It was, I don't even, I, it's still surreal. We've literally been, only surreal. been doing this since November. Yeah, it's so. this surreal. Gary's been sharing with us some of the debt traps and that we can truly be out of debt in five to seven years or less, including our mortgage. We did it personally. We've shown thousands of people to do it, tens of yep. thousands, actually. <laughs> Gary, can you show us how is it possible to do this? Yes. You know what we're going to do, Drenda? We're going to do, as I said earlier, just reverse what the lenders are looking for. They're looking for those small payments every month coming in because people continually use their credit cards. They never really pay them off, and that's how they make their money. Well, if we just change that, Let's find money, those fragments, and we'll find some amazing things. So let's look at this presentation that we've put together. Let's assume that, and this, by the way, this name is made up. So if your name matches this, that's an amazing coincidence, but it's not you. <laughs> so just relax. Jim and Kathy Ratliff, let's say, income $4,000 some dollars a month, and they're spending how much? The same as they're making. That's how people live, right? I mean, paycheck to paycheck with nothing left over, no surplus, no deficit. What would you say... Or what would they say if I was you know, showing them this data? And I said to them, based on your current budget, you could be out of debt in five to seven years, including your mortgage, what would they say? Uh, probably not. <laughs> no, 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 no way. The guy can't add, right? right. No way. They can't add, because he can't add. That doesn't make any sense. Let's go to the next slide. Now, here's uh, what we do. We find money. So what we did with Jim and Kathy is we began to look in every area of their, of their data. We gathered some data and we began to look for money. I'm not gonna cover all these, but obviously there's some simple ones on here to see, you know, like refinancing, lower your interest rates. Uh, we consolidated some high interest rate debt for low rates, tax changes. We had a, a tax review, we canceled Credit Life, found a free checking account. Um, we can go on, reduce internet cafe, uh, excuse me, not cafe, cable, I'm sorry. Uh, remove PMI insurance. There's a whole list of things we did for this couple, and we found how much? $1,700. $1,700 a month? Wow. Is that really what it says? Right. We found $1,700 a month in their budget that was maxed and nothing in it. Yeah, and yet people would look at those little numbers and go, oh, that's not going to make a big deal yep. difference. All those little numbers add up. Right. They? They're all fragments. Okay. I always say we're in the fragment business. All right. Mm -hmm. So the fragments are the key. Remember when Jesus fed the 5,000? He told the disciples, go gather the fragments, fragments. lest everything, you know, something be lest lost. Anything be lost. Yeah, and so he went, they gathered them, and they had 12 baskets left over, which was more than they started with. Mm. So the fragments are important if we understand fragments. So what we do is we take the money we found now in the budget, $1,700. We're going to now begin to apply that to the debt payments. Let's move on. So, oh, let me mention this fact. I want to mention this. Uh, let's assume that our client was a business owner as well. So we did the same thing for his business and found almost $5,000 a month through our, uh, a business audit of finding money. So he's real happy about it now. He's found, sure. you know, some good money. Let's move on. So back to the personal side, not the business side. Uh, one thing we want to do is first develop a cash reserve. You've got to have a cash reserve. Uh, developed completely from the money we found, that's $1,700. We're going to put that $3,000 in place first, first thing we're going to do. Okay, next slide. Then we began to, what we call asset management, we began to add that $1,700 to the monthly payments. And as one debt is paid off, we take that $1,700 plus the debt we were paying that we paid off and apply it to the next. So it's like a big snowball. We pay one debt off, we don't put that money back in our spending budget. We just keep applying it to debt. It just Correct. keeps Attack rolling downhill. Let's go to the next one. And so we found that this guy paid his mortgage off, all of his consumer debt, completely out of debt in 6.2 years. That was, like I think, two car payments, like five or six credit card payments, a mortgage, 
and everything in 6.2 years. So he's pretty happy. He saved uh, on all of this. He saved about $132,000 of interest wow. that he would have spent given to the lender. So here's the recovery. We found $1,700. He's out of debt in 6.2 years, but now remember he also owns a business. So if we add what we saved in business to the to this personal residential income side, we have a total of 6,500. What would happen if we applied all of that to his wow. debt? He's out of debt in 2.2 years wow. on his current income. During and now this is, a, this is a family that was living paycheck to paycheck. Paycheck to paycheck. In their business and in their personal life. Yes. And now they're out of debt in 2.2 years. 2.2 years. Then they start saving all that money. That's right. Which Let's is exactly on. what we yes. did. Let's go on. You mentioned investing. Now, if they just take the money that they had been spending and begin to save it, uh, this is just the residential side again. We're going to find in a short period of time, in uh, 19 years, almost $3 million saved wow. at 9%. At 9%, which is yeah. very doable. Or 5% over a million dollars. That's very wow. doable. Very. And the point we're making is, is that this is simply money that you or people you know are spending but we simply, as a fragment, identified the fragment, moved it back in their cash flow, got them out of debt, and then they stopped giving their money away, and they began to save it for themselves. And this was an average family. Average family. An average income that yes. became millionaires with the same income they were already making of because course. of stopping the debt thing. Yeah, of course. You saw what it does for the banks yeah. as far as they want your money. It's Let's move on amazing. to the next slide. So by following a plan to be debt-free, obviously we can follow God's direction for our life. We're not slaves. We have options. Right. We can provide well for our family. We can support the gospel or God's kingdom in the earth, and we can help those in need. Let's move on to the last slide. Now, obviously, we talk about retirement planning because when you start to, when you're out of debt, then your whole agenda begins to change. Where can I save money at that's safe? And so what we've done through the years, we've developed a plan to get out of debt but then we had to put right alongside it a plan to save money that was mm -hmm. safe. And so we had, over the last decade, we've had two severe drops in the markets where we saw 50 to, 7 per, 50 to 70 percent of a client's portfolio fall. And uh, I don't know, I think that that could happen again. The economic situation globally is you know, somewhat unstable and will continue to do so, especially as our government too. keeps printing and yes. borrowing money at a, at a very fast rate. So these kinds of swings in the markets make the markets a very dangerous place to put retirement money. When you're over 50, you have mm -hmm. saved money your whole life. So we help people understand safe places to invest as well. Uh, we're not going to cover it in this program, but if you have, you know, want that information, we certainly can get that to you. But the bottom line, Drend, is this, that what we saw today is why those, why these come in the mail every day. We then discovered we could change that and reverse that. We can take the same strategy they used to take that $5, that $10, that $40 a month, reverse that back to us by finding the fragments, identifying the fragments, find that money, and putting it back in our budget where we can accelerate our debt payments, save money, have a cash reserve, begin to pay cash for the things we need in life, and that's freedom. It is. Not only can you be out of debt, you can actually accumulate great wealth and do great Absolutely. things for God's kingdom and your family and leave a legacy in your finances. Absolutely. We come back in a minute. We'll kind of wrap this up and give you some, some insight on how you can jump on board and get your plan started. We'll be right back.